On November 9th, 2023, I took the SYO 701 exam and was able to pass it on the first try. Now in this video, I'm gonna tell you how I studied, what I studied. I'm also gonna tell you some surprises, real big surprises I found on that exam. And then I'm gonna tell you what you should study and how you should be studying in order to ensure that you ace your Security Plus exam. Let's get started. The first thing up I wanna mention is that this exam came out on November 7th and I took it on November 9th. That means that I had basically 48 hours to study. So when I started studying for this particular exam, there really wasn't any material that was released before I started studying. So there was nothing to study before. The only thing I had to study from was the exam objectives. And that's gonna bring me to something that you guys need to download. If you're studying for your Security Plus exam, you need to download your exam objectives. Your exam objectives is something that's released by CompTIA and you can actually download that from their website. The objectives will actually tell you everything that the exam will cover. So what, I, what did I have to study? Just the exam objectives. Now, with just 48 hours to study, what I did, download the exam objective, review the exam objective really quick, see what I know, see what I don't know, study what I don't know, and then just take the exam right away. Now, the actual exam itself wasn't very difficult. The exam started out, first of all, I had 77 questions. I was given 90 minutes. The exam started out by giving me two performance-based questions. I can't go into exactly what they are because then CompTIA might crucify me for that. But the, the first one was just about matching different kind of attacks to a description and how to resolve them. Pretty easy stuff. And then how to read some simple log files. Again, pretty easy stuff. Now, some of the main surprises that I found in this exam was, oh my God, acronym galore. CompTIA does not tell you the meaning of acronyms. You see, if you download the exam objectives, you'll notice at the end of the exam objectives, you're gonna see a whole bunch of acronyms. You need to make sure that you know those acronyms as they will test you on them. There were questions where four choices were all acronyms. And if you don't know what those acronyms mean and the definition of them, you're in a whole lot of trouble. Do not walk into that exam room if you don't know your acronyms. The other thing was that there was tons of scenarios. This exam really was not about define this, define confidentiality, define integrity, define cross-site scripting. No, it was all scenario-based. Basically, they would tell you the administrator or some technician is having some issue or some users did this. What exactly is this? So you would have had to then answer the scenario with different forms of technology. So if you're studying, just don't memorize the objectives and know the definitions. Be able to say to yourself, well, how do I apply that technology? How does you know this technology, how does it solve this particular solution? How do we, can you describe the characteristics of a DDoS attack versus a cross-site scripting attack? Can you define when something is just a plain old virus versus a worm? That's what this exam is gonna ask you on. It's not gonna say just define cross-site scripting or define DDoS attack. That's not what it's gonna do. So make sure you understand how to apply those particular scenarios. Now, the exam itself, I was able to finish it in 30 minutes. I didn't think it was that difficult. As I breezed through it, there were some questions where it was just boom. And then there were some questions where I just had to read it a few times. There were some questions where you have multi-select, where you have to choose choose three of those or choose two of those answers. The rest of it was standard multiple choice. And once again, two performance-based question. Now, what are we gonna be doing in order to pass this test? What can you do to ace your exam on the first try? Well, the first thing is that I, if you guys know me, I'm an instructor. I'm a technology instructor. I've created courses in project management, A+, uh, Net+, Plus, both for previous exams current exam, Security Plus, and so on, I've taught over 330,000 students how to pass certification exams. I've also written a few best-selling books on this also. So what I did in order to help you guys pass your exam is that I actually created a cram guide that you can buy at Amazon for just 99 cents. Yes, if you have IT experience, you don't need in-depth explanations, you just wanna know what's on this test and you just wanna ace this test, Check out my cram guide. It's on Amazon for just 99 cents. I try to make it free, but it's the cheapest price that I can offer a guide for. 
because this is just a cram guide. It goes through every single one of the exam objectives and it gives you an explanation. Once again, if you have IT based experience, if you're, if you're working in security and you just need to pass your exam, you don't need much. Just this course is good enough and maybe just some practice questions and you're going to be okay. Now, if you're looking for an in-depth course in it, I did create my SYO 701 Security Plus Exam. It's on Udemy right now. Now, what makes my course different, I know a lot of instructors released their courses as the exam came out. That tells me none of them really took it. I don't know how people release exams or courses and not take the exam. I will never do that. I always take my exams. The moment I'm finished, I write down exactly all of the different things I saw and how my course should be structured to make you pass. Versus other instructors, you just release it the moment the test comes out. They don't even take the test. Oddly enough, that's how this industry works. I'm not mentioning names. Now, so what I did is I created a course. Now my course is gonna go through every single one of the exam objectives. I'm gonna go in depth into explaining every single one of those concepts that you need to know, not just to pass a test, but how to apply them in the real world. Stop the video, stop the video. Quick announcement. This is Andrew in the future, by the way. I've decided to make the course absolutely free to the first 1,000 users. That's gonna be free. That means you get the cram guide for free, you get my course for free, and the practice exams are all free. Check the links below. Now again, this is only for the first 1,000 users. After that, unfortunately, Udemy does not allow me to make it free anymore. I may do more free offers coming up in the following months. Make sure to subscribe, subscribe to the channel, like it, just in case we decide to do make it free again, you can get it. But any which way, it should be pretty cheap. It's pretty affordable on Udemy. Back to the video. One thing that makes, or I should say a couple things that makes my course unique is that I'm also gonna include over three hours of hands-on lab. Now, let me tell you guys something. When it comes to learning security, theory is great. But when you go for a job, you better be able to apply what you learn. So I'm doing three hours of lab in that particular course. There's tons of labs for you to practice the things that I am actually going to teach you. The other thing that the course in, uh, that includes was I put in a 30 day study plan. If you have taken a live security class with me, you would have noticed that I give study plans. I just don't tell you study and you're on your own like most course does. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you what to study day by day what section to study, when to do practice exams. And if you could put in one to two hours a day, you can become Security Plus certified. Just follow my study plan, do my practice exams. So right now, the course is on Udemy. It's about 26 hours worth of content. It's really gonna go in depth into every single thing. Don't worry, I'm just not gonna stand, sit behind a mic and you're never gonna see me and I'm just gonna read a slide to you. No, I'm actually gonna explain things and you're actually gonna see a lot of me because I feel the human interaction keeps you alive and keeps you actually engaged in the course. I'm also gonna include a whole bunch of practice questions after each section. The course itself has 250 about practice questions. And I also made another Udemy course called a practice question course that has five or six full length mock exams that you can practice. Now I've given you guys a lot of resources. If you go on Udemy, the course is generally under $20. If you can't get it for under 20 bucks, Udemy always has a sale on it. You know, the price of what you spend on like a good dinner, actually a good dinner is more than 20. The price of what you would spend on a medium dinner, medium quality dinner, you can become Security Plus certified. And if you just wanna pass your exam, check out my study guide. It's 99 cents. The link is in the description below. That is absolutely insane. You guys can check, it just reviews all the objectives. And oh, by the way, if you purchase the Udemy course, my the, you, the Amazon study guide is in the Udemy course as part of your download. Also in the, in the actual study guide, the cram guide that's on Amazon, again for 99 cents, I explain every objective and I explain every single one of the acronyms. So if you just wanna pass, don't spend a lot of money guys, 99 cents, I wish I could give it away absolutely free, but Amazon doesn't allow that. I thought I was gonna make a PDF and just give away the PDF but I figure Kindle is a lot easier to use because it's, it flows better to your phone and you can just use the Kindle app and it works on all the devices versus PDFs don't flow well. So I said, you know what, let me just put it on Kindle. And I thought I could have made it free, but unfortunately it's not. Just 99 cents, though, the cheapest thing you can buy. Come on, you can't have my coffee nowadays for a dollar. Okay, check out my course where the links are in all the, 
The courses that I create is all in the description below. Watch some of it, see if you like it, purchase it. I'm pretty sure you're gonna pass your exam, get the practice question course. If you just pur purchased the study guide on Amazon for NSS, at least get the practice question course. It covers every single one of the exam objectives in detail. All right, in question detail, which means I'm going to question you in every single one of the exam objectives. So at least get that if you just get the 99 cent study guide. I'm sure you're going to pass your exam. Remember, guys, I actually took this test. I've been teaching IT courses for more than 20 years. I'm also a pen tester, former pen tester, system administrator. So go check out the links below. And good luck on passing your Security Plus test.